welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new it's your girl lex and i'm back again with another video so if you can tell by the title i'm going to be showing y'all how i made this flyer so if that's something you're interested in making make sure you keep watching all the way to the end so that you'll know how to make it so i used all free apps to make this and i made it on my iphone so the first thing we're going to do is go into a phone tone and we're going to make the wallpaper I'm going to reset this. So you, you would hit plain images, choose the white wallpaper, and then choose color at the bottom. And I'm going to choose black, gray, and leave the gradient how it is. Hit apply, use, and then save it. I already have it saved, so I'm not going to save it again. Now I'm going to upload it back on here then I'm going to hit done and now I'm going to go into PixArt I'm going to hit the plus button in the toolbar scroll down to color backgrounds and choose the transparent background then I hit sticker and I think I chose glitter line and that gave me like that glitter line so I'm gonna scroll and see if I see it. Okay, I'm gonna try glitter, silver glitter. <laughs> yep, so this is the one I chose. And then I, you can just flip it around cause this is the way I ended up flipping it. So I'm, I might actually see that one. Now I'm gonna go back in Fonto. When adding this little border, you want to make sure that the glitter is more so at the bottom because you just want to like sprinkle it across. But if you want it thick at the bottom, it's totally up to you. I'm going to hit add image and I'm going to add the money spread. I'm going to add the money spreading. I'm gonna size this up. I think it's supposed to be somewhere like this and then I'm gonna hit alpha and turn it down to about, I wanna say something about 13, 14 maybe. I'm gonna hit add image and add that single $100 bill. I'm gonna add it in twice. right there and then I'm going to hit add image like I said add the second one in. I'm going to just flip this around though by hitting tilt and I'm going to hit the size it up. I want to add my name in too. That's the last thing I'm going to add so I hit add text. All the fonts will be below in the description. Well the description and the comments. I'm choosing this green and the stroke gonna be black size it up some the width the shadow is gonna be the third one and the alpha will be turned up I had to add my name in because I need to know where the money is supposed to be directed I'm gonna save this just to see what this looks like I'm not mad at the placement of the money. I think it's my name because I don't know where the top of this is actually starting. I think it's supposed to be up like this. I'm about to have to get ready to save this. Okay, I'm hoping this is it. I think that's about right. Going back and forth to look at it so I can know how it's supposed to look. And I'm going to hit add text and add in the words. The fonts will be in the comment section. I think this is easy to follow along, but I like piggyback so many times I hope it, it's easy 
Like all you gotta do is rewind. The most important part to when to know when making a flyer is knowing the color schemes. I think that just makes it so much easier to follow along. Things that make it so much easier to make when you just know what colors you wanna use. Okay, now I'm gonna add in a square, so I'm gonna hit add item and choose this square, and I think it's gonna stay white. The height, you want it to be like kinda skinny, but the width to go all the way across. And we're gonna say it's from November 25th through the 29th. I just made this fire last night, posted it today, and I got a sale already today. So I literally have to start working on that because I wanna be done that fast. I might get another one. I'm hoping to get at least five sales through this, I think four day sale period I got it going through so I hope I can get at least five customers we're gonna see I got this is a really good sale this is not made up numbers I'm about to add on here so I'm gonna choose the black font I'm gonna hit stroke and choose black again but I'm turning the width down to about three I'm gonna add that in the middle and size it down it's too big you want it to be able to be easy to read too. So try picking a font that's easy to read. I don't like to have a lot of incursive on flyers. Just because a font, a lot of people can't read it, but it's easier to read when it's um, in like regular letters. Half off and it's a black font color but the stroke is white with the shadow being black. Next font is green. I like that green. It kind of looks like a money green to me. Okay, everything should be in the, like the center. I think this is where I start adding the prices now. Flyers. Let me get your three dots. What else? Collages. Video editing. I'm offering a lot right now. I feel like you ain't gonna beat this. I don't know. It's a really good sale. Twenty twelve and eighty. That should be black. I don't like the black shadow with the black font. Okay, and then it said all sales are final and non-refundable. We almost done. I didn't put salsa. I am hungry. This stroke is on six, but it has a shadow. Oh, okay. Like, something looks different. Okay, it looks like 
this is done for the most part. I'm just looking at the size and everything. I think this is supposed to be up a little more. It don't have to be 100% like the one I made last night. But this is literally how I made it though. This right here is the fine print. This honestly should be at the bottom. Okay, then now we get to get to like the fun part because I think that that looks good. Now I'm going to hit save image. And the next part is super easy. So we close out of there. Now we're back in the font hole. I'm going to hit plain images, choose the white background, leave the size in 2048 by 2048. I'm using that same green I just been using throughout the I've been using throughout the whole video. Hit use and save it. Now I already had this save. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go into Pixar. And then Pixar, I'm gonna hit add photo. I'm gonna go over in the toolbar, hit shadow and save it. Now I can go back into Fonto and choose that color wallpaper I just made. Now I'm going to go add in the picture from Pixar with the shadow. Well, I'm going to add in the flyer with the shadow that we just made in there. And I had a couple different type of styles. So one of the styles, which I'm going to have to go into the album, was I think it was it was tilted like I'm gonna just show you up it's tilted like this I had one like this and I had it a little smaller I had one like this and then the one you guys seen that I was showing you how to make in the beginning and to add it again just size it up I think this looks really cohesive just because of like the colors I use and how I implemented it with the green wallpaper and then the green wallpaper matching the green font throughout the flyer. Let me make sure it looks like that. Yep, and that's how you make a flyer. I have a how to make a flyer video, video out that I did a couple months ago. I'll link that too because that fly was fun and easy to make. And I think this one was fun and easy to make as well. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.